Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are installing a new Smart Zappy and this is the closest I've got to a basic install in a while. So let's take a look at the job. Right, so if we start at the beginning of the job, what we have here is a smart meter with some 25 mil tails and a 100 amp fuse on a TNCS earthing system. So that's absolutely fine for the Zappy installation. Here we have the existing consumer unit. Now, I've recommended in this occasion that we do not use this consumer unit for several reasons. Firstly, it's at full capacity. Secondly, it really could do with changing, but the customer didn't really want to go down that route on this occasion. So what we are going to do is, is install a secondary consumer unit above this one for the EV charger with surge protection. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I like the Skullmore Illusion boards. It's a five-way board which gives you enough room for a main switch or an RCD double pole switch if you require it. Uh, two ways for your surge protection and an additional way for the protection for your EV charging circuit. So it's perfect size just for this installation. Now I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I will be talking about the differences between the old Zappies and the new Zappies. This is a new smart Zappy and one of the differences actually inside the Zappy is that they now have these push connectors rather than the screw connectors.
bone in my bones I could feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I could feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right Make up for what I Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it's true I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know As I mentioned earlier, this is the new Smart Zappi. So what that means is there's been a few changes made. Now with the old Zappies, what we used to do was install a hub. Those of you who have got an old Zappi would know about this, but now this has got an integrated hub. And the way that we connect this up now is via the internet over a Wi-Fi link. Now in the previous installation I had, the Wi-Fi wasn't good enough, so I had to install a TP link. This is absolutely fine, and it is the best solution to that problem. Also, I would like to mention that from the 30th of June 2022, any EV charger installed in England, Scotland and Wales has to meet the Electric Vehicle Regulations 2021. The regulations have been brought in to ensure that the electrical network can cope as more electric vehicles are being plugged in. Now what this basically means is, don't be surprised that when you plug in your car to your EV charger, it doesn't start straight away. There is a time delay which can be overridden if you follow the instructions on the charger. Okay, let's take a look at the installation. Here we have the new Aleutian consumer unit. Inside you can see it is labelled up. Vehicle charger, surge protection and a main switch. This is a perfect size board for these installations. New meter tails and we've got EV Ultra high tough cable installed. Cable then comes out through the wall clips with linen clips all the way around to the zappy. Once again I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, really appreciate it. Please like, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram.